Now you're ready to go into presentation mode. Going into presentation mode is pretty obvious. There's a button that says presentation. Uh, it's similar to PowerPoint in the sense of you have kind of a, a separate mode that when you present, it, it takes you away from your working or, or back end of trial director. So once I click that, and it takes just a second, you will be in presentation mode. Now, now this is kind of the default presentation toolbar on the bottom. If you remember, I selected the option to hide toolbar. If I click on this little button here, which is actually gives you a little pop-up menu and more preferences and more options, and then I click back into the black, you will see the toolbar disappeared. That's how I like it, nice and clean. And then if I ever need to go back to the toolbar, I could. I can just scroll down to the bottom of the page. Now the biggest thing with presentation mode is you do have these buttons here and one thing you can do is you can click and drag these icons up into the black and let go and they'll actually disappear from the toolbar. I don't use a lot of these tools so I'm going to actually get rid of a lot of them. Some of them are so default that you can't actually get rid of them um, but now you have a real basic toolbar down here. I'm going to show you how to add these back because I think it's important that you kind of start from scratch and build your own. You click these little arrows here, you'll see it expands and retracts additional icons. If you click these, you will see even more pop up and you have multiple options here. Now if you're not sure what these buttons all do, you either need to experiment with them or you need to look it up in the manual or on their website to find what they all do. Your option now is to click and drag back into the toolbar and you'll see it shows up on the toolbar there. Now I'm going to get rid of this one as I did before and show you a different one. This is your call out icon and you'll see you have multiple different options for call outs. The standard is this one right here, just a standard projection call out. I'm going to click that and drag it into my toolbar. You'll see it showed up right here on the lower left. So now I have the ability to you click that call out tool. You also can click on this little stamp and you'll see you have a great deal of stamp options as well. I don't use any of these personally. Um, maybe they're right for your case and in that case you would want to actually click and drag them into the toolbar and they'll show up here for your use. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then the last one is this little pencil here. You're going to see you have arrow, line, um, highlighter, and circle, square, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the highlighter is probably the most commonly used tool as well. And really, the projection tool and the highlight tool are probably used 90% of the time, if not more. And you could probably get by without adding any other tools. So for this example, we're going to just add those two, and I'm going to show you how to use them now. Now, if you remember, we created a workbook and if you expand that arrow on the lower left side of the screen you'll see those workbooks show up. Mr. Smith, uh, since we didn't put anything in the opening folder it doesn't actually show up but Mr. Smith does. If you remember we put D01-01 in that workbook. Now that's nice if you don't mind everybody seeing what you um, seeing your screen and what you created or if you're using the secondary monitor uh, that would be one way as well. If you click the green button, the green up arrow button, it will pull up that exhibit. As you can see that's the agreement that we talked about and you have your tools still here, your call out and your highlight tools. You can click on the call out button and it's pretty self-explanatory. Click and drag and it will call that out. Now, I didn't remember that the one that I added was the ripped page callout. I don't prefer that, but for somebody they might. So I'm going to actually double click and I'm going to hit escape to make that document go away. And I'm going to click this and drag it off the toolbar. I'm going to go back to the callout in the lower right section, click that, and I must have been incorrect in that being the standard callout. In fact, this one must be right here. So I'm going to click this, drag it on my toolbar. I'm going to try that again. I'm going to click the up arrow on the workbook and pull this document up again. And it looks like I jumped to the extra additional page. I'm going to go back to 
Okay. Uh, now I'm going to click on this call out. That looks a little better. Now I can click and I can drag this around as I see fit. And you'll notice that the toolbar disappeared and I like that nice clean look. Now I can also right click on the background here and while I'm holding my right click down I can move this around if I wanted to go to number five without having to recall anything out. You can also click and drag the actual lower right corner of what you called out and it will expand it a little bit further. So let's say you needed to get to five and six again without being disruptive and having to get out of the call out and recall it out. Um, I'm gonna go back up here. One other thing worth noting is if you hit, if you push and hold shift while clicking and dragging this lower right corner, you'll see that it can modify the size of your call out and keep it somewhat in proportion and doesn't drag down into the next paragraph or number. That's kind of handy when doing multiple callouts. So if I wanted to call out number seven as well and move that up and shift and click and drag. I could do that as well. You can also double left click on a call out and it will disappear. I'm going to recall out number one and two. And I'm going to click and move that up and then let go. I'm going to go down to the highlight tool and I'm going to highlight for five years. Just click and drag. Same thing. If you wanted to highlight anything on the screen, you can do that. Now there is a button for removing. If you wanted to remove certain items, it's this one right here, you can click it and it will actually remove whatever annotations you made. I'll go over shortcut keys in a moment because I think shortcut keys are great as well. One thing, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to actually go back to how we brought up this exhibit before using the workbook and the green up arrow. And instead of doing the clicking the green up arrow and being dis semi disruptive and clicking around in here where people can see you, I'm going to actually just start typing D01 dash zero one. You'll notice that that, once I hit enter, just pulled it right up. I didn't have to do anything on the toolbar that brought attention to anywhere on the screen where anybody else would look. I can do D01-02 and pull up the second page. Note that I can also hit control page up or control page down and it will just toggle between the two pages. If I'm on page one of the exhibit and I want to go to page two, or if you have a multi-page document and you have 90 pages, you could do dash, PG, and then the page number. In this case, we only have two pages, so we can only do two, but if I hit enter in the lower right corner, just for another reference, you can see what I'm typing, and I hit enter, it'll go to page two. Now, if you remember that default tool was the projection tool, so if I actually double right click on the screen, it will take me back to that tool. And then I can just call out whatever I want. If that's a little too big, I can shift and click and drag and do something like that. And then I also can do Alt H will be the shortcut for highlight tool. You'll see that it actually changed to the highlight tool without bringing up the toolbar. Or I can double left click and get rid of the call out and it'll take me back to my projection tool. In a nutshell, that's presentation mode. The best thing that you can do is mess around on your own time and you'll start to learn it real quick. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me. Thanks for watching. 